Hey guys, what's going on? It's GP here, and welcome back to Don't Starve. Now, of course, after the last episode being a one and done, I suppose, of that world, I am back in this wild game. Oh boy. Don't let it start off like this, please. Okay, good. So, after a lot of trial and error off camera of me, like, constantly dying, there was a lot of cool stuff I found in the world that I unfortunately wasn't able to record. Because, as much new stuff as I find... Oh yeah, you're still around. So, um... <laughs> let me finish before all this craziness begins. I'm gonna make a press to hat here today, of course. My food has gone bad, so I need new food. I need some stuff for, um... For... Sanity. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna do our best to survive. Hopefully we don't die in today's episode. I've already lost my touchstone in this world. So if you guys want to keep seeing Don't Starve on the channel, be sure to absolutely demolish that like button. Absolutely crush it! And, um, if you're new world to the channel, I'm just gonna leave whatever happens next up to you guys. It's not my... Usually it's my job to tell you what to do, but I'm not that type of YouTuber. I'm not that type of person. I want you guys to enjoy it at your own pace. So... I did encounter another tree guard from chopping down a lot of wood. However, he did kill me already. Like I said, I lost my touchstone. And so now he's passive. Doesn't mean I'm going to be looking forward to cutting down many more trees, though. For now, I need some food. And I need more rabbits for my prestahatitator. Because he killed me and I lost two of the rabbits that I had. So that means I need to go back out and find these last two and I'll be able to make it. Because then I can start looking for some evil flowers. I've already found a lot, as evidenced. Um, I've been traveling a lot around. I found another sinkhole. A lot of pigmen and spider nests down here. That's how I was able to get my top hat already. Flowers. Let's go. Okay, since it's night, it looks like it's going to take a toll on my sanity then. That's fine. I can still make do. Uh, yeah, I have rot now. Those berries went and spoiled. I need more food. My carrots are pretty stale, too. I might have to cook those up then. A few of them. The rest I do want to save for, um, for baiting rabbits, which of course I can't do at this hour, can I? Oh, here we go. Here's some more food. Uh, other berry bushes should be around, right? Let's go across real quick. And see. What I've got. I had to stop myself from exploring anymore. I wanted to get to a decent setup point again. But every time I did, usually I'd end up killing myself. Because I got a bit too nosy. Or interested, I suppose you guys could say. Ooh, lots of carrots out here. And berries. Okay, good thing I came up here. I might have to make a campfire up here, then. Alright, looks like my carrots don't look as bad as they were before. That is also quite fortunate. Right. Make this here. With hesitation, I shall cut down this tree. Tree guard, please don't come after me. I need this wood. Like, desperately. I also found a fire staff. This is the second time I've found this type of scenario as well. Basically, um, one of the worlds I actually spawned into, and right away I found the remains of a burnt skeleton, basically, with a bunch of hound bones around him. Full moon! Just by luck! We had a bunch of hound bones around him, there were some burnt trees, beard hair, and the fire staff in the middle. One of them even had, like, a fire staff being guarded by what looked like fire hounds or something? I don't know. It's kind of a shame that I lost that stuff. Lesson learned, do not mess with killer bee nests. Alright. Although most of these lost antics have been because of my uh, tentacles. I've been not careful with. Drumstick, that's right. I did actually catch a gobbler as well recently. Um, with some red mushrooms. I don't think I have them currently on me anymore. I might have some. But I was able to lure him out with two red mushrooms. And he took it and killed himself basically from eating them. So I got some drumsticks out of that, so that was very, very nice. I think I got enough wood for now. Pick that flower. 
need it for health. So right now, everything's pretty moderate. I don't need this rod. I can use that for the fire. I don't know why I'd want to eat it. That is just repulsive. Alright, come on out, little bunny buns. Got just enough inventory space for two more, which is just what I'd need for this prestahatitator for this world. We'll see how long it can last with it, though, I suppose. Where are all the rabbits? Wouldn't they have come out by now? Huh. Okay. So then. I have reason to believe, then, that the tree guards don't attack unless they cut down the tree that's, like, right next to them. Why anyone would do that in their right mind, I have no idea. I need more rabbits. They're all up there. Actually, I haven't explored down here, aside from this uh, sinkhole that I've uncovered. A lot of gold veins down here, a lot of rocks. Okay. Very good. Alright, there's a lot more down here. Hmm. That's nice, I haven't explored this section yet, but that's not what I need. I need more rabbits! Alright, let's see if any of these rabbits are back now. Another thing that I think I should do, thanks to um, what a friend has been saying, is I always use Willow because she's the most... I'd say one of the easier ones to use. She's got fo a light source on her at all times. But I do think I will start using some of the other characters I've unlocked and that are present in the game. See how I work with them, which probably I'm not going to be perfect with all of them. But we'll see how it goes. Alright, here we go. Here they all come. Moseying along. I'll need one more after this. Boom. Captured. Now for one more. Let me set the trap here. Bait it. And... No, these carrots are mine, please. And thank you. It's the last bunny I need. Come on. Got him! Awesome! So I can use this rot for the fire. I also have some healing cells. My health is looking good, though, because I cooked up some of those carrots I found over where the campfire was. And if I know anything about the full moons, they usually last two nights, so I should have to go one more night without having, um, to make a fire. We'll have, we'll wait and see. Rain. Okay. So my place is up here. Let's open up some of our inventory and build this Prestahatitator at long last again. Oh, it's a thunderstorm. Yikes, I better be careful then. Okay. Alchemy Engine, I am here. Magic, make it! Prestahatitator built! We still use some more of my sanity, of course, but that's fine by me. Took up some of these carrots now because I do need food source. A nice celebration that I've got my magic machine again. I'll need the shadow manipulator again eventually. And again, I probably shouldn't focus too much. So yeah, rot is a pretty useful source for a um, fire. My sanity has dropped. Okay. I also haven't made a farm yet either. I've been meaning to do so, but um, I lack the manure to do so. So until then, um, yeah. Let me store the trap. I don't need that anymore. Do I need fire right now, though? I don't think I do. Okay, I do still have the red caps, but they've gotten stale, so. Alright. So. I wonder what else I shall encounter out here. So, so I think one of my next main goals, like I was trying to do the last one. No! My crock pot! Ah! Lightning rod's a thing I can make, right? Darn it! I just lost my crock pot! I mean, at least I got more charcoal. Uh, more on that story later, I suppose. I have a blue gem, I need a red gem. I can get more nightmare fuel, so I might work on getting a life giving amulet then. Very soon. Got these healing cells, thanks to the spiders. We'll see how this night fares. What I need for the 
life-giving amulet again. Uh, I've got the gold on me. I have one nightmare fuel. I just need another one. I need a red gem. Okay, I can probably find a red gem in the cemetery over here then. Eventually. Is that the tree yard that just set up? I kind of hope it's not. Right. So I can efficiently... That's a battleist. No, thank you. Yeah, they found me. Keep it moving. Just keep it moving along. Got the path. I need to make a walking cane again eventually, too. That was much more useful than I consider it to be. But first, I know exactly where to start. Finding me some evil flowers. Well, this is no fun. I still have a battleisk on my tail. I don't feel brave enough to match him just yet. Also, don't mind this burned forest. Um, totally didn't burn the entire forest down when trying to get some charcoal. Okay, you know what? You need to stop. Back off. Die. There we go, got him. Merge into a Chris. So there's more berries here. I can grab those. Oh, I hear some spiders going down. Must be another fight between uh, spiders and pigmen. I'll grab more of these red caps because they're useful if I encounter goblins again. What's going on over here then? What's your deal? Um, okay, I suppose. What is your deal? Oh boy. Uh, quickly retreat for now. I mean, I can't handle them too, so. Okay, there's spider gland. That is especially useful. If I can get it behind the tree. There we go. I think I should be able to take out the nest, hopefully. Yes, just fine. And of course, there's a pig house over there, so that might be what the deal is here. Silk. Let's cut down this tree, grab that red mushroom, and then I'll go ahead and pick those evil flowers. Well, once my sandy's a bit better, the sandy monster is lurking, and it's not the best right now. So I probably should be exercising a bit more caution right now. Dig this up, please. Also, looks like there's some more floatsome right here. Another wrecked ship. I don't know what you do with those at all. I'm gonna be real here. Here we are. I need some of those flowers. There's a headstone here. Green mushroom. Ooh, that'll help my sanity. When I dig this up. Of course, it's gonna be, give me two. Nice extra. Now. Where were those flowers? Not here, that's for certain. Ooh, the eye bone! Awesome, so I can have Chester. Ah, I can't have Chester with me yet. Let's keep picking these flowers for now then. Okay, yeah, I thought I heard bees. At least they're not killer bees. Killer bee hives are the worst. I must say. I have not explored this place yet either, so that's also really nice. Let's eat some of these carrots, why don't I? That should come in handy. Sanity's looking pretty positive. Keep getting these. Are these more green mushrooms or they're blue ones? I mean, they're still gonna do the trick, but I prefer the greens, as you guys are well aware by now. I mean, we're very far into my Don't Starve series. If you dare call it a series at this point, it's just, it's basically just struggling and trying to survive it with what I know. Okay. Sanity is looking much better now. Awesome. So I'll do now then. Um, I'll take one of these healing salves. There we go. For extra measure. Might be able to grab the eye bone. Yeah, let me grab the eye bone. And get Chester with me now. And I'll grab these evil flowers, hopefully before it comes close to night. There you are, Chester. And now I need to pick those evil flowers for some more nightmare fuel. I know there's some more that isn't just the ring that I found. But 
still, might be better off to start here before I start getting too many and drive myself insane. Because I still technically have to, uh, not in the cave, dig up graves to find a red gem. Okay. I have no storage. I'll swap the rot and store in you, Chester. Hopefully you don't mind. Oh boy. Danny's taking a huge toll, isn't it? Why don't I... Tell you what, I'll make a campfire. This can help me. Cook these. And eat them. There we go. Raise my sanity. Let's finish picking the evil flowering. I'll need as many as I can for this magic stuff, won't I? Oh, it took a toll on me though, didn't it? Um, I should be able to make a garland. Yeah, three more. Let's find those three flowers, why don't we? Let me get my lighter in hand. Of course, I'm gonna start lighting fires in my low sanity. Hopefully I can find my way back too. I mean, I just need my lighter, but still. Garland, garland, garland. I just need three more flowers. There's plenty out here for me to keep collecting. Yes. Two more. Come on. Because there's no more full moon either, so... It's do or die, I suppose. Flower? Flower? Please, flower? No? No flower? Fine. I prefer to be a little bit more sane for a little while longer. There's a flower here. Oh boy, you're awfully close, aren't you? Okay. Now, grab this last flower, please. Okay, I'm gonna have to make another temporary campfire here then. That would be best for me, after all. Ooh, blue mushroom. Yeah, I'll take that. I think this could help my sanity a little bit. So eat it. Yeah, there we go. That'll help. Then I'll make the garland once I've moved back. Or once it's daytime again. Sandy monster is manifesting, but not enough where it can hurt me, thanks to that blue mushroom. Okay. Might as well also cook up some of this stuff. I'm not gonna eat it. That was a grave mistake last time. And I can use that. Oh yeah, that's right. I need a new crock pot. Well, in hindsight, uh... At least I still have the monster meat? Whatever. Whatever. Nice to see you're still lumbering around. My Sandy is doing better though. I've got a garland made. It's still not as perfect as it could be though, I suppose. Maybe picking more flowers wouldn't be too bad of an idea, right? But, for now... Go ahead and make some of this nightmare fuel. Now I've got plenty of, uh... Dark petals for it. Let's make as much as we need, as much as we can. Just one more uh, dark petal, and I should be able to make even more. Let's store them for now, though. So I have four nightmare fuel. I've got three gold. So yeah, all I really need now is um that red gem, which I do not think is going to be very easy to find. I've got a blue one. That's not what I need. Well, even though my Sandy still isn't top-notch, I guess time to dig up some graves. Perfect! The first one I dig up is a red gem. Oh, that's absolutely useful. Well, you need to make a crock pot again. I need to check the recipe. Okay, got the sticks. I need more charcoal. I need cut stone. Cut stone should be easy to make. Uh, there's tons of flint around, but not rocks. Let me see. Let me find some cut stone, please. Now, yes, I do need one more. Then all I need is some charcoal. I need a little bit more, though, than what I've already got. So I guess it's back to that, um... I know I need food. So then, back to the burnt forest remains I go. <laughs> Yep, here's where the touchstone used to be. Might as well pick up this marble. I never grab it. it might, this marble might be pretty useful to me. Down the line, I'd imagine. I also need more grass. I've been running low with all the campfires I've been making all around. 
I should be pretty close to the burnt forest now. Uh, yeah. So let me see. Sanity is doing much better. Food is not doing as good, so I need to make this crock pot as soon as possible. But it should be right down this path. Right through this field. And I should find all the char <laughs> trees I accidentally burnt down. Oh boy. <clears throat> well, at least there's a lot of pine cones so I can probably replant a bit, you know? Sorry about that. Oh, sweet lord. Might as well grab a few extra just for safety measures in case what happens before with my crock pot may happen again. We know it's possible to happen again. Obviously. Let's not take any chances now. Yes, I'll chop you down too. Right, let's go home, and let's cook us up a whole bunch of goods, why don't we? Ah, it's almost night, I'm right on the brink of starving. Tell me I'm close to, yes I am, it's right up here. Yes, get my wood ready. Okay, boom. Don't mind me, just doing what I need to do. Rebuild my crock pot. Okay, looks like he turned back to a tree. Probably for the night, I'd imagine. Okay. Yeah, I knew petals wouldn't work. I don't know why I tried that. Uh, monster meat. And let's use carrot and berry. Boom. Might as well cook up these berries while I wait for that, because I know this isn't going to be enough for that hunger. So we got our crock pot back. Nice. Oh boy, did I make what I thought I did? Monster lasagna. Okay. Well, let's pick up a few more carrots then. Looking better. And let's see how this monster lasagna fares. Okay, filled up my hunger, took a toll of my sandy and health. Got these petals though. Let's have a few of those. We've got a healing cell, so I might be able to make another healing cell from the spider gland. That's why I was meant to say spider gland. Um, can I make... Yes, I can! Let's do just that. Sweet! Oh! Oh boy, I think I'm hearing the hounds, so I better be careful. Okay. Yeah, those are hounds I'm hearing. All right. I don't know if I should be messing with the tree guard, so I better be very careful here. Um, you know what? Can we take my nightmare fuel and my gold? I can make myself the life-giving amulet now. Let's do that before anything else bad happens. Protects you from death. Let's make it. I've got it on me. Very nice. Um, let's put this back. Yeah, they're coming. Oh lord, they are coming indeed. Alright. So what do I do then? Wait, I have a fire staff, I just remembered. Okay. I think I'm ready for combat. Go away from where I am. Which means I'm probably getting closer to them, to be fair. Berry bush. Let me grab that up. I need to find Beefalo soon as well so I can get farms. That's the one thing I don't have yet that I haven't been able to get. Grass. They're coming in close. I can feel it. Here they are. Burn them! There's the other. God, this, these staffs are really useful. Too bad that it takes a bit that they wear down quite easily, I'd say. Did I lose them? Only temporarily, of course. Burn them! Burn them! Okay, run through the fog. Run through the fog. That one's on fire. It's gonna be 
Okay, 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 okay. Burn you. I'm pretty certain this is doing some sort of damage. Right? It's gotta be. Oh boy. Yes! He's down! Okay, that's one down. And it made Cook Monster meet the instant. That's really nice. Ah! No! Did not mean to run into you. Burn him! Okay, come on. This should do him in, right? If the other one got dead in, this should do this one in. Yes! Hounds are defeated. But my fire staff is also almost dead as well. Let's use one of these healing salves. That should bring me back to quite a nice health. My life-giving amulet is also 100%, so I better watch that. Now that I have it, I should be careful. At all costs with it. For certain. Right, I figure I could real quick check out this cave sinkhole that we've got under here. Before we called it. It's daytime, so I don't have to worry about my lighter too much, but I'll still keep it near me at all times. And right at the bat, we're starting with some berries. Lots of them. Nice. More food is always welcome. Some nice big trees here, too. A gobbler. And of course, the one time I don't have my red mushrooms on me. Stay away from those berries, please. I'd make food out of you if I could. Okay. Looks like there's something down this way. So let's equip the lighter. See what it is. Oh, I hear battalisks. No, thank you. Not interested in any of that, please. Not with my fire staff nearly gone. I hear some of those rocky guys walking around too, so they must not be too far. Stalagmites. Man, the battalisks have been down here quite a bit, it would seem. Yeah, I really unleashed him this time, didn't I? Okay, I think they're up here. The big guys. Yep, there's one. Just moving by, big guy. Don't mind me. I don't, I don't attack them, they won't attack me. I'm pretty certain about that. So yet again, let's make a temporary campfire here. I could build a fire pit so I can make a resident spot eventually. Oh, I want to get more wood. So it's probably a pretty safe place for me to chop down wood. Ferns. What do these give me? Foliage. It says I can eat them. Hold up. Tons of eight. Oh, they heal me. Alright, I can get behind that. Let's chop down a few of these trees now. Fortunately, there's plenty of flint to go around. And with that, I can eventually find a resident spot in the sinkhole. For a fire pit. That would be absolutely splendid. Alright, survive the night down here. I have acquired plenty more wood. I shall cut down one more tree. I can definitely come down here to avoid uh, the tree guard for certain if I need tons of wood. There's lots around. Unless I activate it, unless I get a tree guard down here somehow. Which would not be ideal. I must admit. Right. So, grab my lighter. So, a little bit more explorinating, why don't we? You know? Right, that didn't bring me anywhere. This should bring me somewhere, though. I hope. Okay, I'm really mapping out the borders here, that's for certain. What did I find over here? Looks like I found something. Goodbye. Boulder. I don't want to break them because these big guys are rocky and I feel like if I do that they might attack me for some reason. 
So, try to stray away from mining any of these boulders, even though they could be quite useful. I don't know. I gotta wrap this up soon as well. I think the way to go is up here, so let's go up. The right way, right? Yes, it is. Oh, there's light over here. Ooh. Indeed, there is. It's a light flower. There's a few around here, actually. What is that? Rabbit hutch. Oh, dear. Found a rabbit hutch. Definitely don't want to be lurking around here for too long. These light flowers could provide me of use. I'll take this fern as well. Battalisks. Okay. Let's just take this. We know the bunny men are big jerks. Red mushroom, I'll take that because we know there's gobblers down here too. find the way back now. Hopefully that life flower can be pretty useful. I need the miner's cap. Because that was really awesome. That worked really well. I also need to find a permanent place to settle as well, don't I? Well, look at this. A tent and a science machine. There's probably a reason why this person's gone, right? I mean, there's a pond here, so I'd imagine frogs. Hmm. As long as they don't bother the frogs, though, it should be fine. Also have farms. Yeah, I'll take precaution here, but I'm definitely gonna set up right here. Let's build it up top, right above the sleeping tent. And next to all this stuff. Another oh, another one of these. Oh dear. Uh, okay. Long stuff. Red gem, oh, I'm broke. attacking me. Like the butt that they are. Get far away. Okay, retreat to the pond. Thank you. I'm gonna plant these seeds. Blended. Let's put my fire stuff up. Let's see what's in this chest and the ice box. Bat bat. We have broken shell, rocks, healing salves. Awesome! More wood! Thank you. Silk, gold, rocks. Ooh, what's in here? All rot. Got it. Oh, I might as well just collect that rot then, I suppose. Collectively put it in. So this ice box will probably help with all this food, won't it? No! I better not have burned anything down with that. Oh, my sandy is getting pretty low, isn't it? Right, so let's get back to my fire then. Back to safety. Okay. This one on for a little bit longer than I thought while I was down here. But I do think this would be a pretty nice place to call this episode. So, thank you all for doing this episode. Don't starve. Let me just pick up the space around me while I'm wrapping this up. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Um, I'm hoping that I can keep getting better as well. Only time will tell, I suppose, how well I can do. So the sleep tent as well, that's quite useful. Um, check out my second channel in the description below. If you guys wanna see or are interested in any non-game related content that I may have to offer. Um, share this video with communities, people you know, your friends. Spread the word that I'm here to entertain for all ages. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold, my friends, and bye bye